on and get your sign. Come on and get your sign. Like I said, I'm talking about my own mother stole. Remember, RP, but my own mother stole from me. You feel me? Like, like I had to wake up one day in the league, one day in the summertime, and find out everybody was stealing from me down. Everybody from my financial advisor, from my mom, to everybody in my fucking family, to everybody was, you dig what I'm saying? To the getting point the, where. Getting the cut. To the point where I had I was faced with two evils. It's like, okay, do I do I let this shit go on and not tell them because this is my family? Or do I cut them off and don't have no family? What was your decision? At first I just you know, I tried to explain to them, but you you can't explain million dollar problems to somebody that ain't never seen ten dollars before. I don't leave the house. I play basketball and I go home. I don't care what y'all do no more. Like, all I care about is playing basketball all day. I go home and I try to talk to my kids as much as I can. I don't see them as much as I can because I'm not traveling as much no more. I don't know what to expect when I leave this house no more. I, you, they, you know what I'm saying? I don't talk to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I've reached out and I've reached out and I've reached out and I've reached out and I've reached out so more that I, I got I to gotta die with some kind of some kind of. B, that's not sustainable. Like you too young, bro. That's not sustainable, bro. You can still play ball. So you that's not me? sustainable. So 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 I can come up here and I can tell you somebody else's life and I'm willing to do it. Hold on, I'm gonna turn my head backward. I'm gonna put a smile on for you. And I'm gonna, like, bro, I'm gonna You tell don't you. gotta put nothing on for me. So like, or, yeah. or I can just sit back and I'm gonna tell you what it is. Like I I'm not I like like I know that's not sustainable, but at the same time, like what? Bees, none of us can go do out. it. None of us can do it alone, bro. Reach out. Go out. You go, have hold to change, talking about, talking about. go out. Go out with. Go out with. Go out. Talk to people. Interact with people. Like, bro, real talk. I'll call us out. Us three, bro. You be in Miami. Hey, Y'all party. I don't party, bro. Don't no, no, no. Don't. We don't party, bro. I'm talking about. You have kids. I have kids. Come to my house. We can get bounce houses for the kids. We can sit back on the porch, drink a couple beers, drink some wine, hang out. Like, bro, that's not a normal, successful man's life to sit up in the house like that. Like, you got to find good people. And us three can be good people. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's not, that, that's I, like, not like, sustainable, like, 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 bro. Like, no disrespect to what y'all got going on. I've been trying to find good people for so long. I'm tired, bro. I would say I'm this. It's, it's it's a 100%, bro. Like, it's it's like, so okay to be tired, like, though. I got... You know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing left. You ain't got nothing left to give I'll people. tell you this, bro. I'll be it. Like, whatever you need, dog. Like, you just want to talk. Like, I, I for sure can't hoop with you. I'll go out there and pass that hole. Like, what we're saying is, bro, like, we want to be those people. Bringing you here wasn't about this. I wanted to talk basketball and hoops. But, dog, folks love you, dog. Nobody want to see you go through this. I got me a Beasley jersey at the motherfucking house because I was down here when he got drafted. I think the thing is, man, like so many times as black men, we are asked because of talent to carry everybody. We are not made to carry everybody. Black women are asked to carry everybody. They are not made to carry everybody. Dog, it takes a fucking village, bro. And at some point, you got to have somebody who don't need shit from you, who don't want shit from you, who want to see you win, man. Everybody yeah. just sit there and laugh. Nah, like like, like Antoine Walker will go through the, whatever he go through. Motherfuckers just sit there and make jokes. Allen Iverson was a fucking joke for a while until everybody found out that shit wasn't true. He got, he got, he turned, it's like, bro, like, no, bro, being black is so fake right now. It's like, motherfuckers. It's only care when you when when it's time for somebody to die and the cameras to show. It's like, bro, motherfuckers is out here showing every f***ing day that they need help. It's in the f***ing music, and we only listen to it to these f***ers die. It's like, bro, everybody out here need f***ing help, and everybody walking around this motherfucker like they got it all f together. I'll be the first everybody, to tell you, everybody, I, I don't. Everybody, everybody, everybody walking, and then the second time, like, 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 bro, the White Howard cried on TV, right? They called the nigga soft. What the f he was going through on the inside? He had the f 
can hold on to where he f***ing cried in front of 20 million people. How about somebody ask that f***ing question? You dig what I'm saying? You're right. It, it's just so much that, that motherfuckers go through, and, and it's like, bro, they, like, nigga, it's, it's on front. It's on front street. It's just like, until, until a motherfucker break down or die, it's like, oh, I, oh, it makes sense now. It makes sense now. Like, my whole career, all I just want to do is play basketball. Leave me alone and let me play basketball. How did they take that from you? Every which way? What do you mean? Every way. I'm the only player in the in history of history that's gotten gotten whatever off the court and held accountable on the court. Like, if you look at my numbers, if you look at how I play the game, if you look like, bro, there's no reason in hell I should not be playing basketball. You dig what I'm saying? Like I can, I can per 36 it. I can, like my 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 rookie year, I averaged 13 and six on 20 minutes. Jason Tatum averaged 13 and six in 36 minutes, and they just gave him a chance to play basketball. I've never gotten a chance to play basketball. Everywhere I've gone, I've shown that I should be playing basketball, and I've always watched more than half the game. And then watching more than half the game, I watched the narrative go, this is why he's not playing, this is why, this is why. So it's like, oh yeah. Mike, when A lot of y'all would not even know what the hell that man talking about unless you walk those shoes. To be honest, I respect opinions, but I don't even know if I even want to hear the opinions of this right here, uh, of what people think what he should be doing. Because unless you really walk those shoes, unless you know what it's like to be ridiculed, unless you know what it's like to be out there and have people put things and put dirt on your name publicly, as a public figure, it ain't about the money all the time, man. This man got bread. This man got a house. People would never know what it's like, and I'm not gonna say everybody, but a lot of folks just don't know what it's like to go through those things, especially when you got everybody looking at you like you're a golden pot. Everybody's trying to take, 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 take from you, and you're left with literally nothing. Now, I've, I've, I've been blessed enough in life to not ever be left with anything. Uh, I've always had folks in my corner no matter what. I've had the wrong people in my corner, of course, but, I don't know what it's like to live a life when you are just sitting in a house and you don't have nobody to call because you ran out. And he's talking to a bunch of family men, a bunch of family men who portray like they have it all together. They're not saying that they have it all together, but the, the look says otherwise. And this man is actually speaking his heart on behalf of how he feels. It really hit me when he said that Dwight Howard was up there crying and people talk about him. Antoine Walker is up there going through what he's going through and people laughing at him. And to be honest, I, it hit home when he said, black, being black today is so fake. Don't get it twisted. Black reciprocity has been making this turnaround for like the past four or five years. It's out there, everybody knows what's up. But let's be real, let's keep it funky, y'all. People, will get online, they will say rude and cruel things about other folks at the expense of how they feel about you. People have a perception. Once people have perception about you and you're in, your, in their head, they feel like, look, if you don't match up to that perception in my brain, there's something wrong with you. And you signed up for what you signed up for. So what you crying for? Why are you mad? Why do you feel the way you feel? And most, in most cases, those folks got to sit back and put up and shut up because they know, number one, that they're trained and, and, and they're going to lose money if they respond. And number two, it's almost like it's pointless to even respond because you're talking to a dead horse. You're beating a dead horse that will never, ever, 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 ever get back up and look you dead in the eye. And it's like, why are you even wasting your energy? So this is why a lot of folks get out here and when they hit it to whatever level they hit it at, they just get quiet. You don't get any type of response out of them. And uh, I pray for, for uh, Michael Beasley, man. Um, it, it really, really sucks. 
it sucks, man. People don't be knowing what folks be going through. They don't even know to have. And we, we as people, especially black folks, we have to get better at stop, stop kicking our folks while they down, man. We are infatuated with fame so much that we will beat our own people and say, you fell off. You fell off because you didn't match the perception of my head, so ha ha, he he, ha ha. Meanwhile, you got Ricky Martin out here, you got uh, uh, Willie Nelson, you got all these, you got Billy Ray Cyrus, all these folks from other groups who would never get ished on by their groups the way how we ish on ours. And it's like high school, it's like kids, man. On one end, black folks will sit out here and say that they love you. They'll praise you when you're on your way up. And then when you hit a level or when you don't match that little voice in their head or what they already got planned out for you, then there's a problem with you. He, he, ha, ha, and he's right. Nobody gives a shit until you die or when you're crying out for help. I bet you there's a lot of people that don't blew up his phone right now. I can guarantee at least seven people called his behind today. I can guarantee at least... 15 people gave him a phone call since he dropped this podcast. And why is it that? Why do we wait until all the most effed up moments? Why are we in, why, why are we so infatuated with pain? We are so infatuated with pain that we don't even understand what we're doing to each other and to ourselves. We don't even realize it. We don't realize it, bro. It's real messed up. Everything ain't got to make sense to you, man. And if it don't make no sense to you, you won't have to beat up your own brother or your sister behind it. Meanwhile, you want everything to go your way and you don't want nobody to bother you. This is why I move the way I want to move. I don't live my life for nobody and I'm going to always live it the way I want to live my life because ain't nobody in charge of it. I'm going to be the one to have to go to the casket with it by myself. Me. And until you realize how to respect space and respect people for what they come with, because you don't know nobody's stories. It's so funny because everybody knows this, this crap, but they're so desensitized, especially with the music, with gang gang going on, everybody talking about shooting your grandmama in the head and all that other stuff. This is the bunch of bull crap that we deal with as people. A bunch of bull crap. And it has to be stopped. And how do you stop it? We need reassuring energy. We need people that ain't playing no games and saying that it's dusty behavior. Because anytime when you're sitting back from the comfort of your own home, from the comfort of your car with the cell phone in your hand, and you judging somebody, you don't know what the hell they've been through, or you don't know that person at all, you need to check yourself in the mirror. But a lot of y'all can't check yourselves in the mirror because you're too damn dusty. I could go further, but I'm not. That's it.